What's going on, everybody? My name is Alien, and uh, this is this is the fifth time I've tried doing this. This topic is it's very hard to talk about, and I'm gonna do my best to get through it. Share my points, what I'm going through. I mean, it's you'll just stick around, you'll find out. But uh, I'm not gonna be talking about the gameplay. But behind this, we got uh, 55 and five kill confirmed on Yemen, kill streak, stealth chopper, VSAT, warthog, using the PDW silence with grip. Perks are hardline flak jacket, scavenger, tack mask, and extreme conditioning. But that's all I'm going to say about the gameplay. The topic for today is going to be the Newton, Newtown, sorry, Newtown, Connecticut, Sandy Brook Elementary School's shooting. Going to do my best to uh, talk about it, and uh, it's kind of, it's a very emotional thing. I actually cried yesterday. I'll get more into that in a little bit. It was Friday, December 14th. It was actually my brother's birthday. I saw it on Twitter. People were saying there was a shooting in Connecticut, so I, I looked it up, and I found out it was at an elementary school in Newtown, Connecticut. And there was 27 victims, including the perpetrator himself. So uh, I wouldn't call him a victim. So 26 victims, not including that fucking asshole. Oh my God, I guarantee there's about 500 million people in the world right now that would love to just kill him. No problem. I, I don't doubt that at all. Just brutally murder him. I couldn't believe it when I, when I actually heard... Um, the guy's name was Ryan Lanza. He was 20 years old, so born in 1992, and that's what that was kind of hard for me to hear because I was born in 1993. I'm 19 years old. This guy was less than a year older than me, and he's he's out doing something that makes you really makes you it makes you think. It definitely makes you think, and it's 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 that's one of the most upsetting parts of it to me that the fact that this guy, this young man. Plenty of years ahead of him to to work out any sort of problems he had. The only problems that he did have, slight autism and Asperger's, which Asperger's is is just a form of autism. It's, uh, I can't believe, autism does not make you shoot up in elementary school. It is absolutely ridiculous to place the, the massacre, and I don't even like saying that word, but to place the massacre on the fact that the kid had fucking autism is absolutely unbelievable and... That is just bullshit right there. And, oh my god. He, this is, it's even hard to talk about, but this young man went into this school. Actually, first, at home, there was a big, big controversy over this. When I first read it, um, according to the news, his mother worked at that school, but later, the superintendent confirmed that she had no, no formal affiliation with that school. So, why he chose this school is, is a mystery, unless, I mean, they're not going to get it out of, either of the two people because they, they no longer are alive but he went into this school in Newtown Connecticut walked into a first grade classroom with an AR-15 an AR fucking 15 why does a mother a single mother with a, a kid with autism have a fucking AR-15 she had other rifles too you don't need an AR-15 if you're gonna go hunting you use a, a shotgun or something I mean an AR-15 is one of the most powerful assault rifles, and that shouldn't be a civilian weapon. There's no way that should be a civilian weapon. And especially the amount of ammunition that this, this man had. He pumped... I don't even want to say that. He he shot... It's hard to say. He shot each of the 6 to 7 year olds roughly 3 to 11 times. So that... If you do the math, there was 20 children killed. 3 to 11 times is... So either 60 to 220 shots... He had with him. Why why does she have that much ammunition for that gun? Why was it not locked up? Knowing there was a kid who wasn't who isn't a hundred percent there. Not saying autism is 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 bad or anything, but he, he he's not a hundred percent there. Why not lock your guns up? Another thing was too, he tried to go buy a gun. He was successfully able to purchase a gun. The reason he did not be he couldn't buy one is because there was a, a waiting period. You buy the gun, you gotta wait a grace period to get that gun. So it wasn't that he couldn't buy a gun himself because he fucking could buy a gun. And that's what I, I don't understand about the American gun laws. That is fucked up. I live in Canada. No way in fuck am I able to get a gun like that. You have to go through a whole bunch of training. Got to do a background check. They got to background check your family. Anything like that. You have one little tiny mistake. You're not getting a gun license. Therefore, you will never have a gun. Now, that that is a big flaw in your country. If you're an American watching this, I have no problem with you. But that is a big flaw in your country. And something should be done about that. He brought a lot of ammunition, knowing he was going to shoot those kids several times. 
he also shot seven seven adults, uh, including the principal and the school psychologist. One of whom happened to be Canadian, actually. But that's, uh, it's beyond the point. I just it's it's just it's hard to think about. I have a younger brother. He's in grade nine, but I mean that's not long before that he was six or seven years old, and I couldn't imagine sending him off to school, telling him I love him. And I'll see you at the end of the day. You have a great day. And getting a call later saying, your uh, your son or brother has been fatally shot and uh, you won't ever get to see him or talk to him again. I could not, I don't want to even imagine receiving a phone call like that. That's what he, oh my God, I can't believe what he did to those fucking parents. He, first of all, he took 20 young children's lives who had, oh my, way too many years ahead of them. They're in first grade. They had their whole entire lives ahead of them, and he took that away from them within a matter of minutes. Just took it away from them and devastated the parents for life. They just lost their little baby. The person that they probably care about more than anybody or anything in the world is now gone. There was a quote from someone. I don't have the exact quote. He was a father of, of a child who was killed, and uh, I, I was proud of what he said. He said... My heart is with, now I don't have the quote, this is just what I, how I remember it being. He said, my heart is with all of the families involved in this horrible tragedy, including the gunman. Because he took his mother's life, now his father and his brother, who don't live with them, now that boy has no mom and no brother. And a brother is probably the most sacred relationship you could have. I couldn't imagine not having my brother. Yeah, you may fight, but he's still... Your brother is, no matter what you say, one of your best friends. And so I, I really respect what the, the gentleman who said that. I really respect what he said. Because it is true that the family had nothing to do with it, as far as we know. Now, I was watching the news yesterday, too. It, yesterday being the uh, de December 17th. And um, there was two of the funerals. I cannot remember one of the boy's names who was put to rest, but the other's name was Jack Pinto. He was six years old. All I can remember is hearing he was a huge sports fan. He loved the New York Giants. He loved football. And his favorite player was Victor Cruz. Now, after that, they flashed over to Victor Cruz, and this really touched him. I mean, it it, it just it did. He, he ended up writing Jack Pinto, the little boy's name, on his shoe. And, uh... Paid tribute to him like that. I mean, that's that's wonderful. Like th that they go out of their way to, to help out their fans. I mean, this little boy, he was his favorite player, and he passed away in a horrible tragedy. Now, now Victor Cruz paid tribute to him by acknowledging his life, basically, and um, that's that's pretty much it. But I'm going to be donating I, I haven't found out where yet but I'm gonna be donating to help out the families who are all affected by this and uh, I will post a link if in case any of you want to donate to it would be great if you would I don't know how much I will but I will donate and it'll be it'll make me feel really good about myself and it'll I'm sure it'll help a family immensely and um, it's just it's hard to talk about and I just I feel so bad for those families, and I just, uh, all I want to say is, rest in peace to the 26 people, fuck the 27th, but rest in peace to the 26 people who were brutally murdered that day, that's fucking ridiculous, and my heart is just truly, truly broken right now, my heart is broken right now, and I just, I wish them all the best in the future, and I just, I hope they they can somehow get closure. And, uh, yeah. Bye.